Hi friends, welcome to my channel. In this new video, I am going to solve a mathematical problem under the topic probability. So the problem is a pair of dice rolled. What are the probabilities of getting the sum six? And second one is eight or nine. Third one is two or five. So you, if you observe this problem here, they have given the pair of dice. That means you are rolling two dice. So first you need to find the sample space, and they are asking us to find the the probability of getting the sum six. That is first one is six, second one is eight or nine, and third one is two or five. So you have to take first one sum six as event A and sum and event B as sum of eight or nine, and third one as event C. So first to write the sample space. Since we are rolling two dice, so the sample space will be it will look like this because on the die you will get six possibilities for each die. So two dice. So you have to pair the all the values. That is, first one is you can get one comma two, and second one you may get one comma three, and here we can also get one one. So here one comma four, and here one comma five, and here one comma six, and second one is two comma one, and two comma two, two comma three. So next one is two comma four, and here. 2 comma 5, then 2 comma 6. So with 2 is over. Next we'll start with 3. So 3 comma 1, then 3 comma 2, then 3 comma 3, then 3 comma 4, then 3 comma 5, then 3 comma 6. Then we we'll start with number 4. So 4 comma 1, then 4 comma 2, 4 comma 3, then 4 comma 4. Then four comma five, then four comma six, then we start with five. So we get five comma one, then five comma two, then five comma three, then here we get five comma four, then here we get five comma five, then we get six comma one. Okay, five comma six. So the last one will be six. Then again we we'll start with six, six comma one, then six comma two. Then here six comma three. Then next one is six comma four. Then six comma five. Then last one is six comma six. So totally we'll get thirty six possible days. So n of s equal to thirty six. Now since already we told, we'll define the a s event of getting sum six. So we are defining the a s event as getting sum six. That means. When you add each number, that base total should be six. So what are the totals? So you can form a set here. So a equal to. So what is the you get six? That is one comma five. Then next one is two comma four. Then next one is three comma three. Then next one is four comma two. Then next one is five comma one. So total how many? One, two, three, four, five. So number of n of a is five. So that means probability of p of a will get five by six because number of events of probability to a divided by total number of n of s that is five by thirty six. So first one is power. So this is first one. Now now we go to the second one. So what is the second part? Second one is you are getting uh, you have to define the event b as getting sum eight or nine. So getting sum Eight or nine. So this will be. So we we'll get B S. Now form a set here. Sum eight means you can get two comma six because with one you can possible. So two comma six. We we'll start with two comma six. Then here again three comma five. Then four comma. Since we are store four comma four. Then next one is five comma three. The next one is six comma two. So it is over. Another one is R nine. So we have to write nine also. Sum is nine. So with nine, what are those we'll get? So nine means you can get with two is also not possible. So we go to the three. So three comma six. The next one four comma five. The next one five comma four. The six comma three. So totally how many? One two three four five six seven eight nine. So n of b equal to nine. So n of b is nine. That means probability of b is 
9 by so how many total that is 36 so use 9 table can cancel here 9 1 jar 4 so this will get p of v equal to 1 by 4 so second value uh, second one we got now we go to the third one what is third one here third one is you have to get sum s2 r5 so we define that event as c so let the c be the event of getting sum getting sum 2 r5 so form a set here so c equal to so c is 2 means what we will get 1 comma 1 so 2 is over next with 5 you can go 1 4 1 comma 4 then 2 comma 3 then 3 comma 2 then 4 comma 1 so with the 5 is over so how many will get 1 2 3 4 5 so n of c equal to 5 so that means p of c equal to probability of c event c is 5 by 36 so third also completed so this is how we solve this problem so if you like my video please don't forget to subscribe my channel yanandaksha sila for further updates thank you for watching my video